My favorite. All right, are we good? Are we live? We're live. Woo! We're popping Ow! off, baby. Yeah, baby. Mm. That's we right. We are back, and we're hot. Temperature-wise? Uh, Temperature-wise, I'm hot. There's AC flowing. No, no, I'm feeling hot because there's AC rolling through this room. Oh. Like, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling hot. Oh, oh, like. I thought you were talking about attractiveness. Oh, I, 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 I'm i feeling a little. I think flannel brings out my my feature. Brings out, brings my, out your attitude. Yeah, brings out my attractiveness features. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Have you All been right. doing, like, double takes in the mirror lately with, like, your new bod? No, uh, no I'll, I'm not like, there. No, I'm not there. there <laughs> I never. There's never a time where I look in the mirror and I go, Damn, you look good. Not once, not once. You have um sometimes it depends on certain, where you're just like, wow. There's certain mirrors you in know, my house where I feel like I look amazing in, and some mirrors I don't look good in. You know which mirrors I look real good in? Gym mirrors inside. Oh gyms. yeah, it's a thing. What is the science then behind I, the mirror? They, I think there's a way where it's they, got like a little curve to it, so it, ma it makes pulls you look it tighter, thinner. makes it look. Then make all mirrors like that. Gems do it because they want to. It's for a positive reason, right? It motivates you to like keep yeah. coming back because you're like, oh wow, it's I working. I looked really good when I was at the yeah. gym. I exactly. Go back to the gym. Yeah. It's exactly. interesting when you go to like certain restaurants, and I know at certain schools they like have removed mirrors because they think it like ruins self esteem. In in cafeterias, <laughs> uh, like I know in like schools sometimes they remove mirrors, and I think may is it true at Disney World they don't have mirrors uh, in the bathroom as well because A they want people to get in and out of it. Now that you say that, do high schools? Even have mirrors in the bathroom because I remember we, we ours, used to. ours did. Yeah, but that shit was cut up. Like, oh yeah, yeah. there was Just always like, pieces, pieces missing. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> and I think even like sports stadiums, they're not putting mirrors in there because they just want people in and out. If you put mirrors up, then they're gonna sit there and check themselves. Yeah, that's true. Even if they don't need to, they're still gonna look yes. and waste like a couple seconds. You know what I hated looking at? It'll humble you real quick. Ooh, those like you're th those. 3x vanity mirrors that have the ring light around oh. it we used to sell them at brookstone i would i'd no. be working and i'd look up mm -hmm. you would see like every it unibrow will you it will ruin <laughs> it's, your it's, day it's crazy yeah, how no. every single millimeter of your face just is just a nice like huge pore your pore. pores yeah. look like a like your nose looks like a golf ball and that's what makes the show beautiful baby we have all types of ugly and beautiful on the show come on baby let's all right it. let's roll let's the intro let's baby it's, it's coffee time, time, baby. baby. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome back to Zany Heath Unfiltered. I'm Zane. I'm Heath. I'm Matt. I'm Mariah. And welcome back to your... Get it, baby. Season thought, and we are your, feeling. To, no, I was gonna say. No, I was gonna say your favorite all male podcast. Oh, <laughs> stupid, <laughs> stupid. So should we talk about like chicks and relationships? Yeah, and man. How those they fucking suck. And bathrooms. <laughs> I don't think we're we. Don't, I don't think we act like we're all male podcast. No, no. Like the shit all. we no. talk about. I think we're pretty good with leading towards shit that we talk about for we just for we just talk about audience. our lives things that are going on in the previous week things that excite us yes. things that we know people will get excited about and we respect women we don't watch sports so i think we cater pretty well to yeah Bar <laughs> barstool would never sign yeah, us they, they couldn't <laughs> that's why dude that's why these uh, these other pockets they never invite us because there's nothing like the male the the dude podcast there's just nothing to talk about with us because mm. we actually we wouldn't be able to relate to anything that they have to say. Can you locker talk? <laughs> I can't locker talk. What is, what do you consider as like proper locker talk? You and Todd talking. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what do you, what do you and Todd talk about? Oh, we're just kissing and telling. Just mm. yeah, I, maybe I, I you're to right. Like I like I like my. It's weird. I, I, it's weird to hear Matt do it because I'm like, this seems. It's like <laughs> yeah. it would be like hearing your grandpa talk about something. You're like, uh, 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 I, I do, oh. you don't want to hear my my stories. I just I, there's some there's some sense of privacy that I like, especially when it yeah. comes to like you know relationships or my even my like when I was in my last relationship, I like I never want to talk about it. I, only when there's like a serious serious issue. I didn't really like talking about it. I don't know. I, I just, there's some things I want private. Yeah, it's good. And I, I, what, even when it comes to like, and that comes to like yeah. sexual relationships, anything like that. I just like, I don't like talking about it. It's weird how it. they call that kind of stuff locker talk. Like you're you're saying that in the locker when all of you guys yeah, are getting like, naked yeah, around you're, each you're other. Talk, you're talking about fucking like girls, which, uh, which, 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 gr which girl's coming over later that night. Yeah. We, uh, uh, yeah. Why are you talk. doing that in the locker? It's just locker talk. That's what. That's what. 
Mm-hmm. Just weird. I think I honestly I think movies pushed it yeah. heavily too on like what yeah big time like locker talk. Do well, we're still, not going to be doing that. Don't worry, guys. No, no, we're going to bring it. We're going to bring it now. Um, how are you? Oh, we have different seating arrangements this episode. Matt's a little closer to us, which I, I kind of enjoy. Kinda like it. Oh yeah, I could like. Well, we have reasons. I mean, the people know probably by the thumbnail. Oh and yeah, the title yeah. of this episode, we have a big guest coming in. We do, yeah. we do. We have Trevor Wallace coming in in the next like twenty minutes or so. Um, and yeah, we're really excited. It's going to be our first comedian, stand-up yeah. comedian. Oh yeah, we haven't had like I guess a proper no. stand-up comedian. Yeah, I'm so one. excited to get to talk to him. And we did his uh, we did his podcast uh, a couple months ago. Stiff socks. Yeah, stiff socks. yeah <laughs> it was. It's a really really funny episode. If you guys want to check that out, uh, it's on their channel. Um, and we wanted to have him on. Literally today, today as we're recording, November fourteenth, his new special, Pterodactyl. 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 Put the the Pterodactyl. Pterodactyl. And he's gonna talk more about it when he's here. So. Yeah, that'll be soon. Um, how's everybody's week? Everybody's week um, good? Rough. What and happened? Well, you know Deanie Weenie, right? Yes. Um, he wasn't feeling well for like a week and he kept throwing up. He wasn't going to the bathroom. Oh, no. Just having some issues. So we took him to the vet and they did like an x-ray, put him on some medicine to try to like flush him out and like hopefully get Are him you to- worried like while this is happening? Freaking out. You're thinking, oh my gosh, Something's the cat wrong. is dying or like- so he's not feeling good. He's super lethargic. And just because we lost the other cat yeah. when it was really young, we just like had like a really uncomfortable feeling. Yeah. yeah. We do the x-ray. They come back and they're like, we're going to need you to look at this. They pull us into the back and we're, we're looking at the x-ray. His stomach was like five times the size it should have been. Like Bolt. it's blown up inside of him. And we're like, uh, that's not good. And she's like, no, it's not good. Um, she goes, we're going to put him on this medicine. Hopefully, you know, if there's something inside of his stomach, it'll pass through. Um, that's like a blockage or it, whatever. It doesn't show like any sort of like inflammation. It just shows that it's bigger. Did it shows the shape of at least the yeah, object. I, I, or... I, have, I have pictures of it. Oh. Um, so they put him on this medicine and he goes to the bathroom. We're like, oh my God, this is amazing. He's doing great for like two days. Then all of a sudden it starts back up again. We're like, this is weird and it's even worse. So we go back in, they do another x-ray, and now it's like 10 times the size of what it's supposed to be. Oh, no. And it's now his small intestines are like huge. <gasps> so something was like trying to get through the stomach into the intestines. And it's it like, was like lodged. Blocking it. He couldn't go to the bathroom. And it just stayed there. It wouldn't like, it like got stuck yeah. in the intestines. Now, yeah. during this time, are you guys thinking, what could it be? Are you like well, looking? Yeah, we're, 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 we were trying to like think about what it could be. Like there's nothing that he could have like got into, but. Um, you, you keep the place pretty tidy. I know Mariah yeah. does. And so there's just like no way that cat could have eaten something at least noticeable. Uh, but we had something in mind that we thought it could have been because he got into something. But this was a while ago. So I don't know how long it was in his stomach. But they they go, uh, we're going to have to do a surgery today. Like it's it's an emergency. If you want, we could stay after hours and do the surgery here. But we're closed on the weekend, so I'm gonna I'll just take him home with me and like make sure he's on like the IV and stuff. This is his little x ray real quick. Oh no. It's oh my huge. god. Wait, is that that's not the PCA. This is it in the small intestine or is this in the stomach? So that big thing is his stomach. Okay. And then the small intestine you can kind of see underneath. It's like it's supposed to be like this and it's huge. Damn, that is a realistic looking x ray. Yeah, that's the best x ray I've ever it's seen a in my really life. Really nice x ray. Wait, I cut You wanna frame it? Are you no, like, I, you want I an do, X-ray of your own body? I want to. I want to get an X-ray. Just why do our X-rays look like shit? I think because maybe they can handle a different level of radiation than we can. Or that, that, dude, that, or looks, that looks like. Or they're just cranking it up because they. <laughs> that's like, like the, the same damage like of uh, X-rays. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's perfect. Um, kind of want one. But yeah, so the lady stays after work, does the surgery, takes him home, and it was the corner of one of these. You know those kids mats. That you oh puzzle? right. The, the, the little pu- tab on the end of it, he ripped off one of them and apparently swallowed the entire thing whole. Oh, no. I'm sorry. The whole... Like, one of the tabs... Oh, just the, just the tab. Just yeah. one, the one... Uh, like, the yeah. foam mats that people buy, yeah, and you piece them together like a puzzle. Mm-hmm. He got one of the little nubs. It, yeah. It sucks, because you think buying something like this, especially since it's, like, a, something you put for a kid's den, you're like, oh, this would be safe for pets. Yeah. And just... We go, oh, we don't want him to, you know, he falls. We don't want him to hit the tile or the hardwood floor. Being Let's as give him safe a little as squish. you possibly can. And then still. No. Um, oh, but yeah, so they, they pulled that out. How long him. was the surgery? 30 minutes. It was super quick, but they also. That is crazy. They also did the. Oh, they snipped him. Yeah. 
What do you mean they snapped him? Is it neutered he, or spayed? Neutered. You neutered. The they had they had to neuter oh. him to do this, or they just decided to do it. Well, we were gonna do it eventually, and they were like, "While he's under, do you want us to just cut him off while we're there?" We're like, "All right." Well, yeah, he probably did. What's the, it. what's the what's the reason why you neuter cats? Well, that they just don't reproduce, and then also cats they it also, also start, like paint, they it, start like spraying shit like around your house when they suddenly reach that point in so puberty, just like piss where. Yeah, it's like piss to attract mates, and then I don't know if it's also cum. I don't know. It's yeah, they a little just bit like, of kitty cum. They shoot <laughs> Never it on, hurt like, nobody and stuff. Yeah, um, we had to do it with my cat when we were. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's a normal thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. A lot and of times they'd actually prefer because if the cat ever got out, the cat will find another cat and then you have more kittens on the street. But oh, now wow. look at him. He's got his little tummy shaved and he's oh, got the cone on his head. Oh, oh, he looks like when I got a hair transplant. He's like a little more teeny. Did the vet just do it all of herself, or was this, is there still a team of people who are like scalpel? Uh, like, no, is there an no. anesthesiologist? Here's the thing, Matt. I'm yeah. sure it's it probably it's probably so easy. But to who do drains that? the blood out? Like, or how do you get down there? I don't know. I dissected a cat before, Oof. so I mean, what do I know? I get canceled by every vet <laughs> watching this right now. It's easy. I just if it's done in 30 minutes, it can't be that hard. I guess it's I the mean, or that it's the skill. And they yeah. know you'll pay it. Well, they yeah. also had to go to like full blown medical school to do this. That's yeah, that's true. School. It's not like it's not like you can do it at the house. And that's incredible. The small intestine. So he. Uh, oh, so Danny has a little cone on his head. Did yeah. they give you the cone? Did the vet give that cone? Yeah. How long does the cone have to stay on? A week. Okay, that's not that bad. Yeah. And it's, the stitches, be, it's, it's because it itches right now, right? Or it, just they don't, they don't want it. him to like yeah. pick at it and pull the um sutures out wow but yeah he's doing really good good does he have to have a different diet now that he's yeah they it? put him on uh new food that's like a little bit like more fiber okay uh, just to know. toughen it all up he's getting big yeah oh my gosh those gorgeous blue eyes you got so lucky with such still, a gorgeous cat it is. feels like it's a combination of ragdoll or what was the snowshoe cat yeah. that you guys were thinking of are his eyes like a little like do they please don't say is he cross-eyed well, I think it's adorable when a cat is cross-eyed and it goes a little in. I think that looks like it's like a cartoon cat. Yeah, because the vet was looking at him and he was like, oh, he's cross-eyed. And we're like, is he? I, I see it. <laughs> no, but that's character. And you need a cat that, you know, has yeah. character. It's cute. Uh, well, yeah, he's recovering. He's doing really well. Well, good, good. good. Thank you to the vet for mm -hmm. saving um, his life. Real but quick, though, if you guys do need a really good vet, South Pasadena Animal Hospital. They're very, very sweet there. And I went to uh, Pasadena. Yeah, they're the best. Okay. They're just really sweet. And, and you said that your weekend was the opposite of traumatic? Yeah, opposite of traumatic. It was yeah. actually very relaxing because I went to Joshua Tree. Oh, I saw all of this. Yes. I forgot it you was did this. A little health retreat. This is with Ilya for like Zila? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we went out there for just just kind of like a relax, just a relaxing trip where we like we had sauna, oh. cold plunge, working out, hiking, no alcohol. It was really nice. Have you been to Joshua Tree before? No, I've never. This is my first time in Joshua Tree. Dude, same. I've been in LA for almost. I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be once. absolutely just nothing, just like straight desert, and it kind of was. Yeah, there was not much to do. Very limited, limited options, which made it a little bit more fun to like figure out what to do because you only had like this to do in like Applebee's. Yeah, <laughs> and we're like, we went to Apple. Dude, Applebee's was a hot spot. Really, in Joshua Tree, there was like we were like. Uh, we typed in, we typed in like dinner and only like three spots opened up, uh, three spots popped up and one of them was Applebee's and bro, we're like, okay, let's just go to Applebee's. It's, we recognize a place, whatever, because other places didn't look like anything I could eat mm -hmm. in there. So we went to Applebee's and it what it looked like catch, catch steak, like catch. Oh, it, it was, was a scene. It was a scene. Everybody was there. It was Friday night. Every, like that, it outside. was the place <laughs> to be. And it was so funny. We were just talking about how people don't go to Applebee's anymore, but people still go, man. Especially out. Do, in they, the, do they still do like the two for twenty deals? And the they, dollar, yeah, they still have all that. Dollaritas is that still going? No, on? no. That's one like I would never. Maybe go. maybe on like a certain day, but they definitely didn't have that when we were there. They did dollaritas. I think they still do. I still see TikToks of people who go into Applebee's and getting dollaritas. Oh yeah, I've seen. It's a trend where if they go you, like if get. You are asking for it <sighs> if you. Yeah, I mean, get, I even, have a good time for a dollar a drink. That's have not to be bad. the most hardcore alcoholics then they're having. Is there a, like an alcoholics buffet? You know, like all you can eat, but like all you can drink. There yeah, is a place. Open bar. Oh, you mean just like uh, just a place in general? There's no, a place. No, like that's like the theme of the bar. Like all you can drink. You pay like 50 bucks. You go in and 
There's Th- there, is there actually yes Rock and Riley's in L A. I think you pay fifty or sixty dollars a month. You get to drink for free anytime you go 50, there. 50, 60 bucks a month. A month, and you drink for How free. How do they not go bankrupt? That's I, insane. Well, it, it's not. I guess not that popular. If you of have a, bar, a membership so they do it for to, alcohol, that's. <laughs> I have a I buddy would. who pays for it, and the thing is, when you go there and you realize you're going to be drinking there for the night, you kind of feel tempted to sign up for it. But, but I the mean, thing is, you're here, not going to go there all the time. Fifty right? bucks. That's like three drinks out yeah. here. Yeah, that's. It's kind of a deal. I think it's sixty dollars. It's a steal. That of a sounds deal. like a lot of people's pregame spot. It right sounds now. like a shit show. And I don't think they advertise it. I don't like. It's like you got to ask about it, and they'll like bring out this piece of paper, and you sign it, and you're getting all those drinks for it free. It tightens the community. It, wow. it, I think people get it because it's not like promoted, and it just makes you feel like you're a part of like an underground like Illuminati. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, it, oh, I'm, you're I'm not so part of Rock and Riley's society. membership. And I'm curious of the loopholes, like. Then just go buy a bunch of pitchers and then bring them up to your friends and you guys are drinking for free, right? Yeah. Or maybe it's like has to be a single drink and they have to be making sure like you're drinking it the whole yeah. time. Mm. Or maybe there's limits where they're like, yo, you've had eight tonight. I think that's enough. That's uh, a really good idea. And also the, um, I know we talked about the uh, the stock market bar. Wait, the stock market? Oh, that does exist. That? Yeah. You've seen it, right? Where it's like a ticker that yeah. goes around and it says the prices of drinks and them going up and, and down. And the ones that aren't getting ordered, the prices are like dropping. And it becomes cheaper to buy that And then that it becomes drink. cheaper. So then everybody starts buying that, so which is going to bump the price up. That's like a bit of a gimmick. A, oh, it's a bit sure. of a gimmick. No that's one's going a, there like. <laughs> that's such a, it's, it's fun though. It's fun to, especially if you're like on a, if you're. Um, just I on think, a budget because a, a lot of people, they don't really care what they drink is that they like, I know back then I didn't care what I was drinking as well. Like I was always getting the cheapest yeah. thing to drink. So I think that would be a, just a fun way to do it. Yeah. Yeah. But we, uh, so we stayed at this Airbnb, right? And uh, none of us knew what it was going to look like. And, uh, not from the pictures. Just, I, 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 think, somebody, I think somebody reaction. on the Zila team or a Zila like group ordered it, but like none of us saw mm-hmm. it. So we didn't know where we um prepared for and then we get there and then the owner shows up and he's just being just such a dick right he's being so anal about everything and just with that he has like an earpiece in which makes it even worse so he's just like talking to who no he has it like he just oh, has like, like the bluetooth or... earpiece oh. in. it's just like it just makes you just a, a little bit implant. more the guy was douchey yeah <laughs> And he's just like, he, he's saying all these rules, right? Like rules that are just like, okay. Like it, it was, it, it was like really, it was like 2,500 a night. So it was, it's an expensive Whoa. Airbnb, right? Was he thinking you guys were like going to throw a party or something? No, no. So he, they, uh, they told him that we were filming a documentary for like a fitness documentary. And I think he was like really worried. So about it's a porno. What, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So like, it's funny cause Todd and I just watched the movie X before. Oh no. Yeah. yeah. So we're in our head. I was like, Oh, this guy probably thinks like we're shooting a porno. So like he showed up, saw that it was just all dudes. He was probably really disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Let's go see what these people are. Up and to. so he, he, um, He's co- he comes in and the play- the Airbnb is hot, right? It's really hot. And me and Ilya, we do like, we can't sleep when it's hot. It's just like, that's no just way. a thing that we just need it like a little cold just so we mm. can fall asleep. We're like, Hey, is there any way we can like turn the AC down? He's like, Oh uh, no, we, we can't, uh, we can't put the AC down because, uh, um, it'll spike the AC bill. It's $2,500 a night. Exactly. Sir. Exactly. Me and Ilya are like, You're really? Pay- we can't like just put it down. He's like, no, no, I don't want you guys touching it. And then he goes to the AC and then puts a pin in it so we can't put it down. No <gasps> way. Puts a pin. Wait, how old school of a place is this? Like a pin. Like- Bro, this is and this is not like this is not like a mansion or anything. This is just a regular ass fucking house. And twenty five hundred dollars a night, way oh. overpriced, and puts a pin on the fucking AC. And if you right? never That's said anything, crazy. do you think he would even would he would have never it? he would have never went to it? What a dick. Yeah. And then we ask if the pool's heated, right? Because it's like chilly outside. We wanted to take a dip in the pool. He's like. Oh yeah, if you wanna if you wanna heat up the pool, it'll be uh an extra 150 bucks a day. We're like, <laughs> fine, all right, we'll do it, we'll do it for tomorrow, since like the next day was Saturday, that was our main yeah. day. And he's like, Well, I'm gonna have to turn it on today because it's uh it's uh, it goes up a degree every hour, so you'll have to pay for it today and tomorrow if you want it for tomorrow. We're like, you fucking jackass. Yeah. Uh. So now we have to pay three hundred bucks extra so we can go 
inside the heated pool for the next day. It's like, but it just kept on going. It kept on going. He kept saying these little things. Like, and the Wi Fi password? Oh, uh, yeah. You guys got to all Venmo me 20 bucks. Yeah. I got to give you the password. It's also 50 bucks per flush. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So that kind of, and then we're just so worried because this, this is the type of guy that would have like probably cameras and yeah. lights in the house. Yeah. It, it was just that we just felt it. How uh, you, now the property, was it close to other residences or were like, was it backed out to the desert? Like, it was like half half. So the so if you looked at Google Maps, the streets looked normal, but then when you got there, all dirt roads. Right. So it was like very very, yeah. It it, 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 it was kind of far away. I would say I was at least a mile and a half, two miles away from like pretty rural, a, a, like a street. Hmm. You know, and um, but yeah. Other than that, it was really nice. I saw you did a cold plunge. Yeah, it was like my, was it? it was like I don't. I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to remember if I've ever done a cold plunge or not because I don't remember. Maybe I have, but not as cold as that. Do you know what the temperature was? It was probably like forty degrees. Did it hurt? Yeah, it's very painful. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Yeah, and my ankles feel like they're about to explode. That's what like I have to get out because my yeah, literally like it feels like the juice inside of your joints is about to like freeze. Yeah, it just and feels like someone just with like a small box guard just yeah 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 just hurts so bad and I. The first time I couldn't stay longer than a minute. Then I went to the sauna. I was like, all right, let me try again. I go back in, try again. I couldn't stay for longer than a minute and a half. I was like, please guys, I can't do this. I go out and then I come back in and I think I just needed silence. Mm -hmm. Once it was like silent and I sat in there, I was able to finish it. What's I the think proper like uh, time you should be aiming for in a cold three plunge? Minutes. Three minutes. Three yeah. minutes. Yeah. That's it. it the, the, the hardest is that first minute and a half. Yeah. And after that, you're just like numb. <laughs> I got you're it. Just like, don't feel... I got in a cold plunge in Hawaii, but it was like a communal cold plunge, like almost like a hot tub. So it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. you could fit kind of a couple people in there, but a guy was already in it. And I was like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> and it was the most like embarrassing because he's like fully immersed. He's yeah. just in it, enjoying it. I'm like, hey, oh, yeah. <laughs> and I could, I just sat at like the steps. And I you're, couldn't you don't even sound like, like a little bitch. So you're just like, and I was like typing it on my phone and I just like, I thought I was going to be able to fully get in. And yeah. It was pretty embarrassing. The one that hurt. we did. Oh, the photo spa one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That wasn't really a cold plunge, was it? It was. That was like, that was maybe like 55 degrees. It was warmer than that. It was warm. I okay. think it was like 60s. Um, yeah. Once you start getting to like low 40s, that's where you're like, this is. God. Okay. That was the, I think that was the first one I did. And that was like really cold to me still, but it yeah. was doable. I could like actually stay in there. It warm your body warm or uh, gets used to it very quickly. The best the best thing to do is once you get out, not to go into a sauna or like artificially heat back up. You're supposed to let your body return back to its natural like temperature. Yeah, because um, that's where like the health benefits are. Like you, your body heating itself back up as opposed to like going into something hot. Yeah, I really I really truly want to try the cold plunge every day for 30 days would you yeah. ever buy one just to see if it like just to see how i feel after like if it's like working you know what's like crazy medication. you know how much the cold plunges are dude i take a guess uh like the good branded ones like yeah. cold plunge yeah. it's like two or three thousand dollars four five four five thousand and it's just a bath with water it's in crazy it. it's in yeah four thousand yeah that one's forty nine hundred dollars insane wait this is like a proper yeah that's that's the one some friends I, I can't know believe have. that's five grand. Yeah, that's a racket. You could go to IKEA, buy that bath for less than a thousand dollars. But you know how you, many you bags get... of ice you could buy? Oh, that one's nice. Ten thousand dollars. That's like wow. the one they have at pause. Yeah, 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 yeah. But mm -hmm. the thing is I heard people like you get those and then your bot you sing it out in your backyard, you don't even want to get into it because it just is... reminds you of just like yeah, you, you also can't do pain. it alone. Suffering. You have to do it with somebody. Oh, yeah. yeah, you need like Doing a witness. A, yes, you, you need to be like, can you come out here and just watch me? Not only a witness, you just need someone to like support you through it. Like, yeah. you just need someone to be like, you can do it. Because <laughs> like not having somebody there at the same time, you need somebody to like feel that same pain with you. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm, this isn't good enough for just my own benefits. I need to like have the support. Have you ever seen Tony Robbins's cold plunge? He has at his house. Do you know who Tony Robbins yeah, is? The I motivational it, speaker. Can you look up Tony Robbins? His is like in ground. And it's, ah. and you know, he's like a massively tall guy. I think he's like almost fucking seven feet. His is like in the ground and it just goes straight down. Wow. So he just like will jump in with his full body and he enters mm. it. 
and then he just goes boom oh, into oh it. that's deep yeah holy shit <laughs> like, my just, man dug a hole well and wow. froze it actually i kind of like that yeah a little I scary but i kind of like that before we continue we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this podcast kajabi one of the biggest challenges as a creator is making enough to earn a living doing what you love kajabi makes it easy to diversify your revenue build your own brand and turn your audience into customers with the disruption of revenue streams from algorithm updates and product changes if you're a creator and not using kajabi to diversify your income beyond ad revenue and brand deals you're leaving money on the table exactly earning a living directly from your audience is one of the most sustainable ways for creators to build a business and you don't need a huge volume to do that on Kajabi. And Kajabi is the ultimate all-in-one platform that helps creators and entrepreneurs build successful online businesses by unlocking predictable recurring revenue. They provide a one-stop shop to turn your skills, passions, and experiences into enriching online courses, exclusive membership sites, thriving communities, personalized coaching, subscription podcasts, and more. All of this is underpinned by robust analytics, marketing tools, third-party integrations, and easy payment options. Creators and entrepreneurs value full ownership and control over their brand. With Kajabi, you have 100% autonomy with free customizable templates that you can make your own, even if you're not tech savvy and you keep what you earn. And the best part of all is that you don't need a huge audience to make sustainable income. There are thousands of creators on Kajabi making six and seven figures with less than 50,000 followers. Oof, I wish we had something like this back then. Try Kajabi and join the creators and entrepreneurs who have earned over $6 billion. Billion dollars. Exactly. And right now, Kajabi is offering a 30-day free trial to start your own business if you go to kajabi.com slash unfiltered. That's K-A-J-A-B-I dot com slash unfiltered. Again, one more time so you don't forget, go to kajabi.com slash unfiltered to earn more doing what you love. Thank you, Kajabi, for sponsoring today's episode. We love you. And thank you for helping our creators. Um, oh, we went to the Hunger Games premiere yesterday. I saw. Yeah. How was it? It was really nice just seeing everybody out and about again because it, it was know, the, the, it was the first one back since the strike. Pretty much the first pr premiere okay. after the strike. So all that, like the whole cast was there. Viola Davis was there. What? Peter, Peter Dinklage, Dinklage was in there. In the flesh. In the flesh. Oh my, it, like seeing Viola Davis in the flesh was crazy. Like I just kept tapping into like, that's crazy. She's just right there. It, it was and, weird. And Peter Dinklage, really... seeing Peter, Peter Dinklage was just fucking Were awesome they doing too. like selfies at all with anybody? Like, like, no, but, uh, no, it's, no. I mean, maybe like if they're walking through the red carpet and like the people that to right. The side, it was so but, cool to like yeah. see her talking on stage, like right in front of us. Yeah. Oh, was, so you guys actually got to see it too? Yeah, yeah. We uh, we in the in the theater. Oh, dope! Like we got yeah. to watch the movie with them. Like it's crazy. Yeah. They so, probably, they probably seen it before. They probably they, watched. They, it. Wait, they, they've had like two other premieres. Where so where was oh. it at? What theater was it at? Chinese theater. Oh hell yeah! You got yeah. that is awesome. Now, I saw that it's a 10th annual Hunger Games. Is the movie not the first Hunger Games? Or it's, is the it the it's the prequel. It's the prequel. Well, why no, but he's ten, saying the But tenth. it brought it back to the 10th one instead of going to the first. Okay. Because there was like, which it'll explain in the movie, there's like games and stuff that were happening before, but this is the making of the new guy that's like in charge and how the games changed to what they are. Got it. It's about uh, presidents now. As a kid, the Donald Sutherland guy. Yeah, him oh. as a kid. Oh, how it was the movie good? Um, it was really good. It was. We have to. I we have to rewatch I need to it. See it again. I swear, Heath and I probably looked at each other and were confused. Maybe like it's, ten, it's ten times. It's almost like. Were there a lot of references that seemed like it was making? No, to not like, really. Not really. I think it was more. We just. There are strategic plays that are done throughout the movie that if you miss something, you're like, wait, why did he do that? You know uh, what I mean? Yeah. Like okay. it's you have to like think about what's almost like when you're watching like Game of Thrones. Like somebody, when you rewatch it, you're when like, somebody can oh. answer something in a different way to be like, wait, that was kind of a weird way to answer it. Are they gonna turn on them? Are they gonna yeah. like? I mean, I'm so curious about the world that they have in it. Like, is the technology like any it's different? Ret or retro it, future. Retro yeah, future. Because you know, like Star Wars, it's like yeah, you're going back, but it still seems like it's just as what, futuristic what was crazy, as it was. The way they were talking was was way too modernized. You know oh. what I mean? Like, remember that? Remember there was a few lines, especially that one. Oh, oh! happy birthday! I forgot it's my birthday. To <laughs> <you>. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Zane. I can't eat this fucking cake, you bitches. Happy birthday to you. My, th <laughs> my thumb. Is, my th I didn't 
didn't even whisper anything. I just closed my eyes because that's what you usually do. <laughs> <laughs> just wait enough. I didn't time wish for anything. Like- I was just like, I, whatever. I wish for the I wish for the health of everybody in this room. Aww. What's the flavor? Funfetti. Oh, funfetti! That's my oh, favorite yeah. flavor. Happy birthday, <laughs> thirty-one! Mm, that number's, get, that number's <laughs> getting uh, big, uh, dude. I know. Welcome to the club. <laughs> yeah, I, I, dude. I was even telling these guys like, I, I don't even, I don't even want to celebrate birthdays anymore. Like after thirty, I'm just like, mm, mm, yeah. I guess I know what you mean, but, still, but, but I, I'm not gonna lie though. It's all also because I have six weeks left till this transformation thing is done. So I just like, I, I, do, I don't want to fuck up, and I don't want to have to do a party and I'm drinking for. Th- I, I just, I rather just. I hear you. Do a small out. dinner, and just there's like, a there's a lot it. of pressure for birthdays. Yeah, and I decided that I'm not gonna do that this year. What was your favorite birthday that you ever did? My favorite, like from the time you were like in LA. Man. Your your one, you at, Sa- your one at Saddle Ranch was pretty awesome. We got surprised with Miss Juicy Baby. That one was fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a blast. That was really and fun. And you had the whole Saddle Ranch. Last year's was really fun. I remember that I had a lot of fun there too. Yeah. Last year's. I'm trying to think of, is there ever one where we went out of town or something? Think oh, we went to so? Vegas, I think, for your birthday one time. Was that your birthday or somebody else's birthday? Maybe that was Liza's birthday. Yeah, no. I think it was Liza's birthday. Well, Liza's birthday was at the Palms and then... I thought we did that one where it was a two story. Oh no, no, it was, Caesars. it was, it was, it was. That was my we went to the Backstreet Boys. Yeah, that was. You know what? I think that might have been my favorite, one of my favorite ones. That yeah, was a that really was a good fun one. trip. Wait, is our guest here? Is he already here? I don't know, building? Jordan. Is he here? Start? Yeah, let's hop right into it. We'll get you in and out real quick. Yep. Such a big day for you. This is a big day, dude. This is cool. All it's right, sick. I don't know, man. I'm nervous. <laughs> Everybody, welcome Trevor Wallace to the podcast. Yeah! Thank our you for first, me. our first guest of season five, season baby. Five, dude. Congrats this is huge. On that. I welcome. Love the promo you guys did. Yeah. And congrats thank you, thank to you. you. <laughs> thank you, dude. We're just high fiving each other, just circle jerking everyone in the middle. This is Absolutely. beautiful. Because <laughs> today is the day your special comes out. It's out. Amazon Prime Video out today. <laughs> Wow. That's why I'm dressed like this. I don't usually dress like an art gala guy. Are you having a red carpet for your premiere? No. Okay. No. No step and repeat. You're not just like having. No, like, but I have a really. We have an ice luge that's shaped after a pterodactyl. That's, that's all. That's sick. cool. That's, that's pretty. Whoa. How much did it cost to get somebody to thousand. shave and thousand a thousand bucks? Yeah. So instead of the the step and repeat and the red carpet, you put the money into this loot. This, yeah. Uh, all right. I, I, I just I, figured it's a cooler thing to take a photo of. Is know? it their first pterodactyl that they've ever made out of ice, or a maybe a, just a rich kid's like dinosaur bar mitzvah? Well, like the guy <laughs> sounded like very Jersey. He goes, "I've done an eagle before. How hard could it be?" Like, <laughs> yeah. You're not wrong, but you're not right. Okay, th- this is this is very PR. This is a very yeah. PR question, but can you tell us a little bit about your special pterodactyl? Just because I'm sure people want to people want to know what it's about and what. Yeah, why would you call it pterodactyl too? Your special. One of the jokes in there, I just reference like uh, when your phone is dead. That's like the real version of you, and like, you th- and then when you got to spell the word pterodactyl and your phone's dead, that's you right there as a whole. <laughs> and then everybody I told that, they're like, oh, that's true. And then they try to spell it. And everybody starts with a T. And first of all, there's a P in it. There's also a hidden Y. Uh-huh. There's a Y. It's just oh, like, yeah. dude, spelling bee. This is like final round. We're it's, talking buzzer. Yeah, that's right boss here. right there. Is that final the boss. only word that has a P in front of it where you can't? And like, a Y? No, pussy has both. <laughs> <laughs> like a pussy. silent P? Yeah, a silent P. Like and then psychic. the T. No, no, no. I mean, oh. the, no, P and T. Like the, those two Pneumonia is a crazy one, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't even know what it starts with. Maybe a K? Bro, who sits there and decides on these words? Like, we need to put a P in front of it. Like, what is the it? The Greeks. Fuck the Greeks. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the Greeks. How long ago did you record your special? This was in Austin. Shout out, Matt. Hey! Param- Paramount Theater. Oh, my gosh. You know it? Yeah, it's iconic. The first time I ever saw Bo Burnham was in the Paramount Theater. Yeah, dude. It's a gorgeous Why theater. Austin? Did you just have a good connection with it? Actually, it's a huge in the comedy scene right comedy now. Comedy scene. It was like uh, I did a show there, that same theater, like two years ago, and it was just such a good crowd. Texas shows are great. My, my logic on shows, if your city voted for Trump, these shows are about to be phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Austin's a great mix because yeah. you get kind of like the yee-yee guys, but you also get kind of like the tech bros, so it's like... 
it's just a good mix of people. And Texas crowds are just phenomenal. Absolutely. Did you get to perform at the Mothership at all while you were there? I did uh, Kill Tony out there, which is a podcast. How was Whoa. that? Yeah, I did that. It's great. The Mothership's awesome. It's just as cool as everybody hypes it up to be. Cool. It's very cool. Wh- it, which is the one that Joe Rogan owned? The Mothership. Uh, that's the Mothership. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he turned the old Alamo Draft House on 6th Street into the Mothership. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Yeah, it used to be the Alamo Draft House, but even before that, it used to be apparently like this cult owned it and stuff. Well, it's Austin. There's a lot of cults. And I think it used to be maybe a hotel, or it says it's like the Ritz. Yeah, it's the Ritz right outside of it. I think it used to be an older theater Sixth Street is nuts. Oh, it's mayhem. Cops on horses? Zane experienced it for his first time out there. Dude, the first time I saw it was right next to me. It was like, I was like a foot away. I was like, holy shit. I thought you only saw this in London. (laughs) Did not know they had that shit out there. uh, any of you guys seen like the 4K footage of a guy he just vlogs Sixth Street and he just gets all the fights? Yes, it's like an account, but he's like watching people brawl in like 4K footage. You know what? He's a live. Like he's a streamer. I don't know what he is. Maybe he's a narc or he's something. Just, <laughs> he's just filming everything. Yeah, dude. These, but, but it's like on a gimbal. It's like the best shot it's you'll see. It's because like, all those every time you get like a video of a, like a street fight, everybody's like what's this shot on? Like yeah. everybody just rips the cameraman. Exactly. Yeah. So he is that guy. He Heaven sits it out. Dude, you shoot it horizontal. You'll get fought for that. It's a good <laughs> clip. It's, it's is wild. world star still popping these days or is it, you know, like the, the actual site. Well, yeah. Cause I feel like there, everyone would be like, Oh, world star. When like a fight would go down. Yeah. I mean, it's it, just a hub. I think it, it'll always be a thing. Cause it's just a hub to put those videos on. Like, okay. I don't think anybody is. I think the name is bigger than the site. Right. Yeah. Now. When was exactly. the last fight you got into? Oh, man. Not a verbal one, a physical. Dude, you guys are like this. I got punched in the face by a bouncer. Pretty cool. <gasps> Did you mouth off at him? Did you oh, deserve I, I it? He, he was the guy quickly, at David's yeah. party at the end. <laughs> no, wait, somebody got fought at David's party? The bodyguard. At the pickleball <laughs> event? <laughs> no, no. It, it was, was the it was Halloween, Halloween party. The Halloween party. What an event to punch one somebody One of Cringe at. friends just got decked by this, or uh, Jack Doherty. Jack Doherty. You know who Jack yes. Doherty is? Yeah, yeah, His yeah. security guard just... Every YouTuber has security guards now. <laughs> when there's there's never any threat. There's never a threat. I never see a threat. <laughs> How many hate until comments this- do you have to get before you're like, I need security? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's wild. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this podcast, SeatGeek. And speaking of SeatGeek, uh, you know who's coming into our our hood, our town? Who? <laughs> Sunrise, Florida. Who? Drake. No way. Yup. Sunrise. Yup. 2024 March, baby. And you know that we're going to be going to SeatGeek to get our tickets. And with over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. And there are more than 70,000 events on SeatGeek, including concerts, sports, festivals, and more. And with the NFL, NBA, and NHL seasons in full swing, you don't want to miss out. SeatGeek has your tickets from every game. Plus, they have artists like Travis Scott, Bad Bunny, the Jonas Brothers, and more all on tour right now. And the way to set it up is amazing. They put all the tickets across the web in one place to make sure you're getting a good deal. Each ticket is rated on a scale of 1 to 10. So look for the green dots. Green means good, and red means obviously bad. And every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee. And SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swap. And guys, you know we're not going to leave you hanging. Heath and I came through with a code for you guys Mm -hmm. to use. Make sure to use our code UNFILTERED for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code UNFILTERED. And make sure to click the link in the description to download the app. Thank you so much, SeatGeek, for sponsoring today's episode. And thank you for letting me go back to Sunrise to watch Drake, baby. Uh, But yeah, the last fight I got was probably that. I was at a bar in college and the bouncer was like, can I talk to you outside? This is early video days, so I'm like... (laughs) Boy wants a selfie. You know? <laughs> oh. We know what's going on. <laughs> You've seen a video or two. Yeah. And then he like pushed me outside and then he goes to close the door and I grabbed the door to close it. I'm like, oh no, what are we doing? I thought we were hanging out. And then uh, he, he, he flinches, right? And I go, what? Oh. Infamous Ooh. last white guy words. <laughs> what? <laughs> Clocked right here, bleeding right here. And this is when it gets real wild. Well, you were before you continue. You're just kid, like you're just kind of fucking around. Like you weren't. No, like I was hammered. Ser- I, oh, okay. I legit didn't think I was getting kicked out. I was like, what does he want to talk to me about? It's pretty loud in here. Should we turn down the Diplo or what are we doing? <laughs> but then this is like the whitest thing I think I've ever done is on my walk home, bleeding, I call the bar and I leave a voicemail. No. <laughs> the bar is closed. They, they don't have the voicemail anymore. Thank the Lord. But I'm over there like, you just fucking assault. You hit me. I'm a film degree major. <laughs> <laughs> and dude, it's one of those things the next morning. First of all, I deserve to be punched. The second of all, actually, no, I didn't. I was just drunk. I didn't do anything. We all do <laughs> at least once. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Humbling. But I'm like, thank God that bar is no longer because that voicemail, they'd still have it if they were still around. <laughs> Did you ever go back to the bar and see 
the oh, bouncer yeah. again. Yeah, I mean, he remembered the, you. It was the college bar. It yeah. was like the place where you go for two dollar Tuesdays. You buy, you bring a twenty dollar bill, you buy ten shots. Yeah. If my math is correct. Oh damn, two dollar shots. That's better. Is it, is it good as Applebee's or like the Dollaritas? Oh, yeah. No, nothing's better than Dollaritas. <laughs> Dollaritas is like the Bitcoin of an alcoholic's economy. Like that is. <laughs> we were just talking earlier. We just found out that there's a bar around here that does a monthly membership for all you can drink. What? Yeah, Rock and Riley's. Bucks. That and has the name of a place. Yeah, it's right over by like the Roxy and like Whiskey A Go Go. You can pay a membership. The thing is, I don't know if they even want people to know about this. Yeah, they don't promote it either. It's like very. How much is it? Like sixty bucks a month. Enough where you realize you would spend sixty bucks like in a night on like not a lot for like what? Yeah, you you get one round. Yeah, that I I, apparently that is the case. Yeah, forty dollar LA Fitness membership. Yeah, sixty dollar Rock and Roll. These boring. You puke enough off some Jack Daniels, you got a six pack right there. Cheaper than Equinox. Definitely. Well, what's Equinox like? Two hundred bucks? I think it's three hundred now. Three hundred. Spitball numbers and see if people still Dude, keep buying and, it. And it doesn't even come with a trainer. Like three hundred dollars a month. I want a trainer at least twice a week with that price. Yeah, the, it, it's crazy how many people. Do pay you guys for go it to too. the one out here? No, we don't. Mm-hmm. I used to. I don't. It's 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 just way too expensive. You bet. You're, you're better off just getting your, yourself a. Trainer. You could lease a car for that. Also, you know how much I looked this up. This is just an alpha thing, which is funny because I'm not. <laughs> You know how much you can just buy one of the weight racks, you know, that where you adjust the different weights. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. can just buy one of those on Amazon. Oh yeah, Matt had one. You yeah, know, I right? did. Yeah, the one uh the Bowflex 552s. Okay, like, well, we're not going infomercial. <laughs> but we're going But like like the legit ones where it's like five pounds, ten pounds, then you just like and you do like cable yeah, yeah, yeah. shit. Yeah. Guess how much that is? In my head, I was like twenty thousand. We talk about like Facebook marketplace. Wait, you're hand. talking about the whole weight set? Yeah, the whole well, like like the ones with the cables, and you can like do like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The cable, you're talking about the one that's like the, the platform. It's got all the weights stacked and you put the pin and yeah, it goes to this way. You put the pin and it goes to this way. I don't way. know you what you do type. Oh, you, oh, you're talking about the one at the gym. Okay, yeah, like, cable machine. Oh, yeah, no. Those are probably like, what, $10,000? No. 1000 like. Brand what? new, 3500 bucks. Is Bro, that, look like, at that price. Isn't that like kind of like mind blowing? I want to go to Equinox and be like, where do y'all get off? Yeah. Like, where do y'all get yeah. off checking these prices when Wait, I can build my Trevor, own- Trevor, this is this is actually fucking insane. Like I it, did not know it was actually- I thought they were like $20,000. It's still a lot of money, but compared to what you would think it would be, you know? Yeah. yeah. You have like, your own home gym now. And, and a cold plunge is five. <laughs> the cold plunge is $5,000? Yeah. It, it doesn't, doesn't make not add sense. Enough. But you can just have that in your house delivered. Yeah. Is that too insane? Dude, I'm opening up a spa. You, Fuck it. You don't have to leave. Spot. You're going to save the gas money. You're not yeah. going to spend 300 bucks a month that you're Membership. never going to get back. You're investing in yourself. You start charging the neighbors. Yeah. It's a pyramid scheme. It's not a bad idea. At wow. home equinox called a tree equinox. What do we yeah. think? <laughs> it's it. in a tree house in your backyard. <laughs> but like that just blew my mind. So, I mean, what, how many of these does the equinox have? Four? Dude, how much does it cost? To make? <laughs> right. Yeah. How much does the equinox cost to make? I mean, and it's a one-time expense. There's, I would imagine, zero uh, maintenance. <laughs> Like, didn't that like blow your mind? You just got somebody to wipe down the sweat every couple hours. Yeah, they, they they put more really, of them in really there. Sometimes <laughs> then they're always busy. Like, how Bring about we own? just expand, buy more real estate, build another floor yeah, at least? It blew my mind to know that gym equipment. Like, I thought it was like the price of a Kia Optima. I didn't yeah. know <laughs> where we were coming in on that. I think Equinox should have like a cap on how many people are members because at. At a point, that's it's true. just it's too expensive. Like, yeah, you don't want to go to a crowded like, uh, gym. A crowded true. gym, you're paying two hundred yeah, bucks, three hundred bucks a month. You got to think a lot of people that go to Equinox love that shit, and they like want all the. people They would there. get off and, on the membership type. And shit. you see the celebs like, like Jodie Foster doing. Like, you bear, you bear. That <laughs> celebs don't go to on fucking the, Equinox anymore. That, I, every day I walk in, I go. I hope I see Jodie. I, I, I hope see I see Jody. You see Jodie Foster there. Yes, she was stretching out on the mat next to me. How long did you stare into her eyes? Yes. I did not stare. Did I she did look stare. like Jodie Foster? No, she just looked like kind of like a normal like. Mom. I don't think I would recognize Jodie Foster if I saw her working on the gym. Wait, I think I did a. Sh- you did a shoot with Jodie Foster. Oh, oh I wouldn't have recognized her. Did she come to your show? Yeah, I think I met her before. I don't know. Is I she th- cool? She yeah, very chill. I have a question about your special. Did Please. you record all of it one night, the whole take, or is any of the takes from like another night? You kind of like mix it all together. Yeah, so it was three shows, one Friday, two Saturday. I was just fucking nervous. I was like, yeah, the first I show, I just want like get a, just a trial, just to feel it out. And we use some stuff from that, but it's mainly the third show because I think the comfortability really settled in. It's like overwhelming. Like people like flew to Austin because it's so central. People flew there for this. Like the, the cheer when they announced my name was like so... Hi, I was like, what joke can I say right now to match that? <laughs> yeah. Like I got so in my head. And do people know that it's being filmed for like pot like uh they or- didn't know what it was for, but they knew it was being filmed. Okay. Oh, yeah. cool. 
Now, yeah. how big of, of this event was it for your own personal life? Are you getting grandma and grandpa, aunts and uncles all coming out? Are you out like, the grave. get yeah. the fuck? Or are you like, I don't want no. my too, uh, too many people who are close in my life to be there? Uh, a little bit of both. My, my parents were there. My family was there. and uh, In the was, audience or backstage? In the audience. <laughs> it's like uh, <laughs> yeah. America's Got Talent. They're on the sides. Just yeah, like. I know, right? <laughs> no, it was pretty cool. One of my bits in there is about how my dad told me about like the birds and the bees talk. So yeah. in the special, we cut to a shot of him reacting to that joke so it's like oh, uh that's cute. so he's in it and he's like my dad's like a little clout whore like he's posting it. he's like look, what, love look, it. What my, <laughs> look, what, look what we did special out today look what we did i'm like we what the fuck you saw me in it you saw me yeah yeah yeah. no he's the man he's great They're very supportive and it just when it comes to how many people were watching that was that like the biggest show you've done or you've done like the same size shows but this is the first one that was being filmed that was why. pretty fucking big it was 1200 but yeah i've Done a little larger, but that was like, I mean, that's a thousand people just staring yeah. at you. It's yeah. crazy to me. And Insane. this is a one hour set? Yeah. Um, now, how long have you been like working on this whole one hour set? Is this like pieces of yeah. stuff that you've been polishing over the years or just this yeah. past year? Uh, there's jokes in there that are like six years old and there's jokes in there that are like a month old. Like, yeah. I wrote some random thing about the talk about hot sauce packets and I feel like they're not as like edgy as they used to be. Mm -hmm. I wrote it like a month ago and I was like, dude, I don't give a fuck. Put it in. Yeah. Like, I, yeah. I just love that. And then the, somebody was like, well, hold on it. Make it better for the next one. I'm like, no. No, toss it Do in. Do it now. So yeah, it was a mixture of stuff, but nice. It's fucking fast. It, it like blows my mind. I don't even, like they're like, do you want to do a premiere? I was like, I don't want to watch people watch me just so I could be like, <laughs> Did you laugh it's at like that? it's like even worse than actually being up on stage doing it. I, like, but on stage, I love doing it because you like I don't know. It's you like, get that energy right there. Yeah, I like also like black out and it's like I'm just talking to a void. It's yeah, like, I, mean, like, <laughs> I, I feel like for me it'd be easier to do it in front of a thousand people like that, where it's almost like they're dark, yeah. than to do it at like a like a um like an improv. Or oh, yeah. Where you like really see their faces. Yeah. And they're like, like, dude, that, like, <laughs> do, do you find those stand ups like easier than when everybody's out there to see you only? Or, yeah. I try to like be pretty blinded up there. Like, I hate, I don't like seeing the audience. And not because I just, don't, like, if I see one guy folding his arms in row 14, oh, my vision will be locked on that's that guy. It, yeah. You know, so if I'm like pretty blinded, like, I won't see anything. Yeah. But like, I've done shows where it's like legit brighter daytime and I am just looking at the top of people's heads. <laughs> Yeah. No facial emotions. You like purposely try not to look at them, like get like a face to face, or yeah, it'll just throw me off. I think because right. I just have such a, like rhythm to it. Then mm -hmm. if somebody, so I'm like, guessing you don't do a lot of crowd work. At your no, shows, I will. Or do you? I will. Yeah, but it's usually like they start it. Like they'll yell something out dumb, and then it's like there's nothing better than like the whole audience hears somebody yell something dumb. Yeah, because then you're like, oh, cool. Now I get to like talk shit. Like I don't yeah. look for it. I feel like people, I feel like comedians used to hate that, but now it's become such a, especially on TikTok, like all oh, I see yeah, on TikTok dude. is yeah, hecklers. It's crazy. Bits. And, yeah. and a lot of comedians don't want to reveal all their jokes already yeah. like online. Exactly. So they want to post the crowd work because that right. can kind of get you a vibe of them, but without yeah. spoiling too much of what they already have planned. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I see both sides to the argument. I think it's, uh, I think it's getting a little much now. Like somebody will sneeze and be like, what the fuck you say to me? Yeah. <laughs> Heckle by sneeze. Heckle by pollen. You know, they just forgot what their next bit was. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. I, I think it, it also, um, the whole heckling thing, like people want that reaction from, from the comedian. Yeah. So it's like, it's like over the top now before it used to be like, somebody was like actually heckling and it was a, yes. a serious thing. Now it's people that just want that interaction. Yeah. yeah. And it's almost like it's becoming the entire live performance and it's, like, all right, well. Yeah, exactly. I like to mess with it and then get back to it. I have some in the special, but it all came naturally. This girl had this really high-pitched kind of laugh, and, like, the whole audience could hear it. And then I go, and I kind of look at her, and I, and she does it again. And then I was like, no, like, however you laugh is great. I don't want to laugh, shame. She goes, oh, no, I have Tourette's. And I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> but then everybody looks at her, then looks at me, and then I'm like, uh fuck okay and then i said something along the lines of like you bring the ticks i bring the talks then i did like a quick renegade thing uh, just oh, oh. Funny. it's funnier like in yeah there, but like when somebody's like i have tourette's like it's a hard where do you go from there yeah you're like i have a cat i don't know it was <laughs> it was fun but it but in the moment you see the realness and people want to see that because it's not written it's off the cuff yeah yeah it's like you can do a joke a thousand times that's tried and true but like when somebody throws you that like hot potato like Tourette's you're like fucking slam dunk it back yeah <laughs> respectfully yeah <laughs> who opened up for you did anyone my buddy tony casillas very funny comedian he's out of austin oh shout out to toby tony tony, tony. we can call him toby if you want to to tony toby 
Tony. Is, uh, is he is he a big big comedian? Is, he's getting there. Yeah, he works at the Joe Rogan Comedy Club. Oh, sure. Okay, cool, cool, so, cool. Yeah, he's very fun. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this podcast, Factor. This holiday season, you might be looking for nutritious, convenient meals to keep you energized on jam-packed days. Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal delivery service, can help you fuel up fast for breakfast, lunch, and dinner with chef-prepared, dietitian-approved, ready-to-eat meals delivered right to your door. You'll save time, eat well, and stay on track with your healthy lifestyle, all while tackling your holiday to-dos. Exactly. Skip the extra trip to the grocery store and the chopping, prepping, and cleaning mm -hmm. up, too, while still getting the flavor and nutritional quality you need and you can choose from 35 weekly flavor packed fresh never frozen meals and support a healthy lifestyle and meet your meal preferences all delivered right to your door and ready to eat in two minutes and you know the holidays are coming up so you know we want to eat fancy we want to eat good we want to eat right especially in that, in that cold weather Woo. baby so level up with our gourmet plus options prepared to perfection by chefs and ready to eat in record time mm, and you could choose from breakfast items like apple cinnamon pancakes <laughs> bacon and cheddar egg bites mm. potato bacon and egg breakfast <laughs> skillet and a whole bunch of other wellness boosts Ow! And you're going to get beverage options like cold-pressed juices, shakes, and smoothies. And with Factor, you can rest assured you're making a sustainable choice, baby. They offset 100% of their delivery emissions and source 100% renewable electricity okay. for their production sites and offices. And if you don't care about all that and you just want good meals delivered right to your door, super easy. All you got to do is go to factormeals.com slash unfiltered50 and use code unfiltered50 to get 50% off. Again, that's code unfiltered50 at factormeals.com slash unfiltered50 to get 50% off, baby. It's a wrap. And, and that's two minutes. Minutes. Two minutes in heaven is better than one, one minute, minute in heaven. heaven. Okay. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, you Factor. Thank so you for sponsoring this podcast. We love you. I remember when we went on your podcast, Stiff Socks. You yes, guys make sure to check it out. We did an episode baby. with them. Um, we, you guys went on a trip. You and, uh, oh, yeah. oh my Michael. God, what's his name? Me and Michael. Mike, Mike, Mike. yeah. You yeah, and yeah, Mike yeah. went on a trip to uh, <laughs> I didn't know Amsterdam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you guys How been? was that? Have you guys been? No, uh, no. I haven't. Never been. All right, cut the cameras. Have you guys been? <laughs> no. no, I've never been. I went uh, a while ago, uh, probably like six years ago. Something and? Like we were only there for like less than a night. And? Uh, I thought it was incredibly romantic. It was like five dudes. Dude. Uh, uh, and? <laughs> is, this what, is this what TFIO? Yeah, yeah, Did you see any shows? We didn't do like the, the <laughs> stuff segue. at the red light. Like we walked through it, but we Isn't didn't like. Crazy how it's just like, it's like if you're in Venice Beach, but just that, like, it's just so there. It's weird that they're like in the windows and they're just like pointing at you walking by. They want you to look at them like, or yeah, they want yeah. you to like come in. Yeah. Okay. So they're like, it's not a strip club, right? Where you look at them. They're like, give me, you looked at me. You looked at me. Give me money now. Uh, no, they're like in the window and they'll like point at you as you're walking by to like, oh, that's in. sick. Do they, but but do, it's so I just mean, on the street and it's like families. It's like. Like dad, oh kids are to, going down. Yeah, it. Like there's, you don't need it, like yeah, a, it would, that's wild. like an ID. You could anybody can walk by. Like what? it's like a coffee shop and then a pub and then a red window and you're like, what's going on here? Whoa, Mar Mariah, I know some. They do dancing in there too, Mariah. I should look into it. <laughs> what type of dance? <laughs> it is, uh, yeah, it's crazy. It's a really cool experience. It's the horniest place in the world because it's just groups of dudes. Just like fucking floating around the streets. One guy's smiling, one guy's crying. You can tell who got ripped off and who didn't. <laughs> but it, we, we, we were very nervous. We like sat at a bar across, just kind of like, be like, do we want to do this shit? And then we saw a guy walk in, and then maybe like 10 minutes later walks out, the biggest smile on his face. <laughs> like, what are doing? I'm like, that's the best Yelp review I've ever seen. Honestly, I think I'd have so much fun just sitting at the bar watching it, them walk by the, the and just look at their reaction. Yeah. The people and, watching is crazy. Yeah, I gotta see that. That'd it be is, fun. But it's so bizarre. It's just like, it's just it's very, very weird. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it's almost like too good to be true. Yeah. <laughs> You like get there and you're like, surely you're like, are you a cop? There's got to be a cat. Do you have a wire? <laughs> but is each like, okay, is each window like its own like store in its own like collection of women or? It's one woman per door. Okay. And then you kind of like you tap and they're like, hey, what's up? And then you like kind of open the window and then you're like, how much for? And then you insert whatever. Uh, what, what were you, were you look looking for? <laughs> a relationship, romance, love. You're yeah. saying this while other people are walking yeah. by on the street. Dude, so you're like, just like, that's uh, insane. And, and look, I'm not saying I'm like some massive celebrity, but I definitely didn't want people to be like, dude, is that Trevor Walls about to get jerked off? <laughs> 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 so I have like a hat on and a hood. Like I look like Eminem, just, yes. shadow, just shadow boxing. Like, yeah, how much was Matt, you'd be the type where it's not even about the girl. It's about the room. Yeah. You'd go inside and be like, 
that? Let me but, let me check out another song. Let me check out another <laughs> room. Sorry. No, thank you. Uh, but, I don't like the, the vibe in there. But you kind of open that. You crack the door. You talk about what, what you're, hey, what is this? How much is that? And then you're like, cool. And then you bring in the room and they close the curtain. And then they like take you upstairs and it looks like a damn hostel in there. One place had a blue light. I was like, this is the last place you'd ever want a blue light. Black, <laughs> like, so black, black, black light. Sorry. Black light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's that? They're all connected? Kind of, yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Are you yeah. hearing just screams from other rooms? <laughs> like it's like hostile, no. just like blood no. splattering no. on the window. Like no, get me out of here. But it is so bizarre. The funniest thing was like the small talk because yeah. you gotta like walk like up. It'd be like if I was at the front and then you walk up some stairs and then she's like, "So are you visiting?" And you're like. Yeah, I'd hope guys don't live here. And you're like, <laughs> Go get a quick set in, babe. You know, so they knew English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it, yeah. Gee, he's using I'm Google not. Translate, like <laughs> writing out like just sonnets and poems. Love and, and romance just, like... in in Russian. <laughs> but th it's like the funniest small talk ever because you're never gonna see this person again. Yeah. And you're like, how are you liking Amsterdam? You're like, what? are we about to do this? <laughs> yeah. Wasn't it crazy that there's more bicycles than cars there? Amsterdam, yes. Yeah. So it's many goddamn bikes. Such a weird thing to see, like the complete. Oh yeah, I've seen TikToks of like them removing all the bicycles from the canals because so many people uh, will just like ditch them out there. Dude, it's like a it's claw bicycles machine. everywhere. Is that yeah. like how we treat bird scooters and just throw them off a bridge? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, dude. Imagine your bike is gone; it's just floating down the river. That's so many bikes. Oh my god! Wait, it's really. Yeah, it's like it's, that. It's like the four or five with bikes. Like nobody, <laughs> yeah. like nobody drives out there. You either walk or you it's bike. It's rare to see a guy going by in a car. Which Did is he, crazy to do the red light dish and then just hop on your little huffing bag. Yeah. <laughs> Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this podcast, BetterHelp. This time of year can be a lot, and it's natural to feel some sadness or anxiety about it, but adding something new to your life can counteract some of those feelings. And therapy can be a bright spot amid all the stress and change, something to look forward to, to make you feel grounded, and to give you the tools to manage everything going on. And boy, do we have a great option for you guys. If you're thinking of starting therapy, <laughs> Give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, and it's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. And it's super simple. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. All from the comfort of your own home. You don't have to drive anywhere, waste any gas money, go sit in any traffic. Mm. You could do uh, text messages, video calls, phone, uh, Zoom calls. It's all up to you. And it's just, it's so easy. And it's nice to just talk to somebody that's like trained at this and a professional. You don't mm -hmm. have to talk to your friend or someone you're uncomfortable talking to or your parents or your boyfriend and girlfriend. Yep. Just talk to someone that is there to help you and can give you like genuine advice. So if you're ready to give BetterHelp a try and find your bright spot this season, all you have to do is visit betterhelp.com slash Zane and Heath today and you're going to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash Zane and Heath. Thank you so much, BetterHelp, for sponsoring this podcast, helping us and helping all of our viewers. We love you so much. Did you guys hear about the the uh, the ten highway? What is it? The ten? Oh, the it, ten that caught fire. It, yeah. Did what you see that, that fire? No, I didn't know this was going on. The whole like infrastructure under the highway just like burned up, and, and they, the whole highway, <laughs> the whole highway closed. There was the, a. Pallet. It says the ten is yeah. shut indefinitely right now. What the fuck? Which is like the the main highway people get to to go to the airport. That's gonna, I have to go to the airport bro, tomorrow. What's what the gonna fuck be, am I supposed to do? Bro, it's going to be madness trying to get to that airport. It's like uh, for the next well, like few it's, weeks. It's, the, it's on the 13th street. It's not the entire 10. It's just the 10 that is closer to downtown. Oh, I thought it was the whole thing. No, it's not the whole thing. In my head but, it was too. Fucking but for the down, but for people like if you're coming from downtown and you wanted to get on the ten to, this is so fucking LA. If you wanted to get on the ten <laughs> and go down to fly. Santa Monica, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, you're gonna run into some issues if you're. Oh, coming. so it's not that. It's not you crazy then. I thought the it was a whole highway. Exact high voice for uh, like a. Radio a a talk show doing the traffic report. Oh yeah, if you're going down ten to the four hundred five, man. Uh, yeah, I guess God damn, dude, stunt. that's crazy. Well, shout out to the ten. What's your writing? <laughs> what's your what's your writing process when it comes to your stand up jokes? Are you just typing it on your phone and then yeah, kind of looking at that before you go on stage? Do you watch your performances after and then polish uh, I, that? Yeah, or? I like voice memo all my sets, and then if I do something new, I'll go back and listen to it and be like, oh, how did I say it? Oh, okay. Uh, and then uh, my notes app is just like crazy, just filled with shit. And it's either like one word or a full sentence or like a paragraph, mm -hmm. a lot, or I'll just voice memo me talking something out that's funny or something that like happened. You Does know? anything ever come up while you're in the middle of doing a show? Yeah. Like a new line that yeah. would work really well, like in between like a, a transition or something? Yeah, I'll just riff random shit. That's the best time to try new shit is like sandwich in between stuff you know that works. 
works is like fail proof because you're mm-hmm. like, all right, this works, and you do it, you ride that like wave of laughter, and then you're like, you guys ever pee your pants, and then th- that doesn't bite, and you're like, all right, moving on. Yeah, yeah. I thought this uh, comedians always did this. I don't, I mean, I don't know if they still do this, but or if they even do this. But do you guys practice in front of each other and like in front of your friends? No, but when I first started. This is some wholesome shit. When I first started, it was like my senior year of college. I would go to the, uh, I was in the film department there and I would go and I'd rent microphones to practice in my room and like just nice. say the jokes, which is really wholesome. It's a fucking loser thing to see. Yeah. And my room was like separate from my other friends. Like I, I had the downstairs room. They were all upstairs. <laughs> so thank God they didn't hear me at night. Just like I'm sure they did. Oh yeah, dude. They're like this guy's right. Did a you have it hooked up to an laughing. amp, like like <laughs> yeah, playing, no, or were no. you just holding a dead mic? Just, just holding it, just to like have the I guess feeling of it. You wanted the prop. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> playing with an amp at like three AM would be so funny, though. You just hear the <laughs> other. <laughs> you guys ever have shitty roommates? Yeah. <laughs> you just hear me in the corner. Ha! Keep riding. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't. Uh, but 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 we don't really practice in front of you. You don't like test jokes out. The worst is when comedians will like slip jokes in when they're talking to you. Like, let's just say we caught up at some event or something. And I see, you and I'm like, yeah, man, that's crazy. You know, you ever think about like, um, like, and then they just get into like jokes and you're like, are you testing currently? You running, we're workshop. You're, you're running workshop bits it. on me. Yeah. But then you hear him do it to somebody else. You're like this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you were running bits on me, dude. <laughs> Oh, I thought that was a normal thing to do. I don't, maybe it's like it sucks when you hear somebody else doing it back to you. Mm. So you're like, bitch. That awkward setup to even get to where your joke would begin. <laughs> yeah. Like just turning a random conversation into that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be- but but I feel like generally I think I've been around stand up long enough to know like the like the, the structure of the wording. Like this sounds pretty bitty. You yeah. know, this sounds like very like you ever just and you're like, oh God, here we go. Mm-hmm. First time you did it was did you do well? Oddly, yeah, but it was. I think it was set up to do well. Okay, um, it was. A, I did a comedy class when I was like seventeen, and then you did like six classes, and then you performed after. So it was like a lot of like other, like it was like a dance recital. Like it was yeah. a bunch of families were there and shit. I was so nervous, I like blacked out. Like I said a sentence, got a laugh, and then I just like opened my eyes. And mm-hmm. like it was yeah. still going. Very bizarre, but but um, I like loved it. That was like the most adrenaline I ever had. Are you trying to get into any like movies or shows? At the moment, if it happens, like, yeah. But like, I don't like. I've just had. I've had calls with some of these people, and I'm like, God, put a gun to my head. That just, yeah. like, what's going on? Like, I don't know if it. If I think every video I put out is like, in some sense, an audition where if somebody's like, Oh, I like that. You should do that in my movie. Like, I like being a part of other people's projects. And you don't mm-hmm. want. You don't have to like audition for. It. You just want to like trying to get like direct. Yeah, book. dude. Like, I always think about like uh, Andrew Santino on Dave. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. Like, I want to show up, <clears throat> do my thing, and then get out of there. He can still tour. He can still do his podcast. He can still do a bunch of stand up. It doesn't affect your schedule too much. It's like yeah. once, once you're like responsible for a show to work, it's exhausting. And if it flops, you're fucked. It's like, how do I just show up and be like, ta da, and then leave, you know? Yeah. yeah. So I, I think that type of stuff. But I don't really want, to, like, I love this format, like where it's like, go do some podcasts, yeah, shoot podcast some sketches, and do yeah. stand up. It's, I mean, it's unbelievable. It's so fun. Who are you taking uh, inspiration from right now? You guys. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at a room full of legends, and I'm like, uh, I would say like Theo Vaughn. He's so funny. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tim Dillon, if you know him. I love Tim Dillon. He's so, so good. Dude, Tim Dillon is, he's just, if you, I could just, I, just being a fly on the wall around him is so funny. Just hearing him rant. Yeah. That's a guy that like, dude, you could do all your bits in front of me, and I'll be, just be sitting there like wide-eyed. like Yeah, he can make Timothy. anything just sound funny. He's like, so he, funny. It's just the way he talks is Oh, he's great. Do you have so really good. good mentors as well? Like that you yeah, never thought so. in your wildest dreams that you would become so close to them. And then on top of that, them offering you to, uh, advice and guiding. Yeah, you. it's like kind of weird when you meet these people and then you're like a mutual like, oh, I'm a fan of you. I'm like, what the fuck? Why are you a fan of me? I'm a fan of you. Yeah. You know? There's a lot of guys like that. I think guys like Tim Dillon or Theo Vaughn or, okay. or like those guys, like. I reached out to a lot of these people before the special, be like, yo, what the fuck do I do? This is like, you've done a bunch of these. <laughs> this is nerve wracking as hell. And like the most random tips, like Whitney Cummings is a friend of mine. And she was like the night before your first show, have the AC on all night. It'll be too hot. You'll be sweating. And then if you're sweating in one show, you can't use that show in the other shows because you'll be sweating and then you're not sweating. It's like these random things you would never think of. Oh, uh, like the continuity yeah, b- between continuity. it. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. So like they were oddly like very, very helpful and like weren't holding back at all, which was like awesome. But did you have three of the same outfits or did you wear the same? Three out- of the same outfits. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You didn't just. <laughs> no, I. Uh, yeah. Which is smart, you know, but. Yeah, I, I almost wore white on white, and thank God I didn't do that. I mean, I would look like a youth pastor. Just <laughs> like, it, in my head, it like, I see, I wish I was more of a fashion guy because in my head, I can conceptualize the fit. 
And then I put it on. I saw it on cameras. I was like, no. Like bombing in white on white would be the. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, did you like when you guys went to prom? This is my theory. All the guys that wore white tuxedos back in high school, they all are in jail or do construction. Now. Yes, That's it was. A it was like Ricardo. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Ricardo. <laughs> you gonna throw him under the bus like that? <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with doing either of those jobs or being in prison. Turn yeah. up. They have you watched prison that TikToks? I love. Them. Oh I my god, it, it's, it's crazy that like it just pops up on my feed, and the fact that they're even filming. My in there. favorite is like prison TikToks, but the cooking shows. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, and they're cooking on their bed. Like they've been, uh, been able to like <laughs> conduct heat onto their like metal Dude, bed. Unbelievable. And it's, it's like hibachi. Chi- yeah, the <laughs> chimichanga out of like top ramen noodles. Yes. And how is there not an alert that gets sent to like the people running the prison? Like, how do they get away it with like? Sounds good. Just imagine being on your night shift, and you know when the TikTok uh, clock starts counting it out, <laughs> you're like a guard, you're like who the fuck? <laughs> That's got to be so weird to be like, yo, this penitentiary looks familiar. I know this guy, but it's got a million likes. So right? Yeah, I'll let him slide. It, do these guys like know they're popping? I, I think yeah. Yeah. Prison TikToks are like they're fascinating. Oh my, are prisoners uh, into the TikTok lives right now? Like, do you think? Uh, how are they gonna get? Wait, the, how are wait, they gonna get the money? That, Zane, they're they're wait, in prison. They're oh, just shit! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, <laughs> yum! In the road. Yum! NPC yum. prison guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the top ramen. Thanks Imagine the, the guy ramen. sleeping next to his cell. What the fuck? Yeah, donut. Right. Yum. Donut. Yum. Why donut. is everybody going live on TikTok now? Is that apparently is that the there's new? a lot of money. Money. In it. Mm. But like, I don't know how yeah, we much. see him. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, the money, the money oh, there is, is okay. big. Is you make good money when you do the battles. That's when they're like all like, "All right, come on, let's get us to like this many oh, likes and this many no. hearts." Every come time on, I guys. See that, I need to see the amount that they make after one battle. Like, is, I just need to see what they're no doing amount. that for. There is no. Amount. Oh, there's 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 uh, there's no amount. I'll do it. There's no no way. What's your price? It looks to- crazy. <laughs> Man, I just I think it's one of those things where I wouldn't catch myself. Like I would do it, and then I would like say it to a friend, be like, "Oh man, I can't tonight. I got to go live on." T- I should probably not do that, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like I think once I like talked about it, but like forty hours a week, what's like the? Oh man, I mean, I need a Joe Rogan type deal for that. <laughs> yeah, I, I need a gar- ten Get million some, like, guarantee. Exclusivity. Just feel if I feel like the audience knows that it's like. He doesn't want to do this. <laughs> I'd rather make less money and do what I love. Whoa. No, I mean, th- I'm not gonna lie. There's some people that are really good at it. Like they, I feel like they yeah, really yeah. do want to be there and they're really interacting with the people that are gifting them. And I always cringe when it's like the like four the, no, friends the and they're all like committing to do like the live yeah. together. But I'm like, one of these friends has to be like, guys, can we please cut this? Like, <laughs> He's texting I, the group I, chat. I'm so like, have we made bored. enough money yet? Yeah. Like, I, one of them has to not be enjoying it. No, I, I really do like appreciate the, the the there's just like a few girls that I feel like do it really well like the what do you NPC? call that what do you call that like what they do NPC NP what's that like a non playing character like you are almost like I an avatar New person York has so many of them. oh okay okay yeah <laughs> yeah it's like do you Everywhere. think they ever show up to the same corner like yo this is my block dude <laughs> <laughs> dude I'm Broadway and Third's NPC bro you got to go to fourth <laughs> what is the repeating part about it's every time they donate that specific thing. So oh, if they, they send it? the cherry, they're like, cherry, like, cherry. Or if it's like 10 cherries. Ooh, spicy chili. Ooh, spicy, spicy chili. chili. <laughs> and, <laughs> and they keep up. Dude, yeah, Matt, you might be doing this on the side. Yeah, I like, watch them a lot, dude. Yeah. Have you ever donated to get them to say it? I've done like spicy chili. I've never. No, spent, you, how much you is gave that? somebody a spicy chili. I don't know. I've never like had to spend money on it. They have, that you have the free gifts. A rose is like free. Oh yeah, I did it. Heath, I did it for Jason. Wait, there's, there's, Wait you what? did it for Jason? <laughs> yeah, I gave him a fucking galaxy. Oh, you should have seen his reaction. He was flipping. He was doing backflips when he said galaxy. What's a galaxy equivalent? To? It's, it's, oh, it's like, like twenty bucks. bucks. Yeah, but dude, they, <laughs> kids are gonna run their parents' <laughs> accounts dry because of this. Oh, oh big kids time. are gonna bankrupt mom and dad by sending galaxy. I'll tell yeah. you right now, if I found out my kid was sneaking using my credit card to pay for fucking galaxy yum yum but hot that's sauce, why I would do be. It. I would be livid. It's the same reason casinos don't give you money and they give you coins. It doesn't feel real. Yeah. yeah. So you're like, yeah, I'll send her a watermelon. Why not? And then you're just like, five dollars, five dollars, five dollars. <laughs> it's like a sick <laughs> world we live in when you got to go to your account and be like, yeah, we're doing pretty good. We got a couple kiwis this morning. I already <laughs> told myself though, there's going to be one wow. day where I'm going to do a live just like this, like the NPC character. I'm going to do it for a straight like 30 minutes, like nothing else but that. 
Go for it. And I want to. <laughs> I want to see. Go for it, Zane. We're all. We're all I will, behind no, you. No, no. I won't do it after that. But I truly want to see. But like, I have to commit to the bit. Like, no, I have yeah, to commit. You have to. Can't laugh halfway through. I just got to commit and just end. You it just got to learn what all the gifts mean and what to do for. No, each I'm just gift. gonna come up with it on the spot. So, oh, okay. <laughs> what do you do until with... people start joining the chat room? Because the first thirty seconds, yeah. nobody's going <laughs> in. What do you say? You're just like, I, I think they te do. They text each other they, or. How Who's do they get like other influencers? People, <laughs> no, how do they get other influencers to do like the the quadruple like live chat thing? Are they well, usually like, they're a friend of a friend, and then I think they oh, allow you man. in the chat. Like if you follow them, you get they get notified. Ah. If they follow you, they get notified. Like oh hey, this is a person I follow in there in the chat. God, that's I so don't like doing it, but wow, you could like you could do whole like episodes. What Blows kind of what, what kind of like kid were you? Were you were you chronically online? Were you like a class clown kind of kid? Were you uh, in a bunch of chat rooms and forums? I was on chat roulette, yeah. Oh, chat roulette. Chat roulette, Omega. Oh, that's dude. how you started? You're trying to meet girls or trying to be funny? <laughs> like, Oh, showing my dick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> no, uh, I was a, I was an outside guy. All my friends like played outside. My parents like were like, thought they were being wholesome. They're like, we're not going to get you an Xbox. You always have to be outside. Jokes on them. I started smoking weed when I was 14. You know? <laughs> I'm going to be outside. I'm going to do outside activities, dude. Yeah. First time I smoked weed was out of a light bulb. Oh, shit. Huh? Wow. Yeah. We're wow, I haven't heard that smoking weed. Wait, wait, wait. How do you do that? I'll show you. So <laughs> just like the bottom part, you screw in. Like you just break the glass. Trust me, there's way better ways to smoke weed. <laughs> but this, it was my first time smoking weed. And this other kid had smoked before. He's like, oh, I'll make the bong. So you break the glass. And then the metal part, he like drilled a hole. First of all, anytime you have to bring out a drill, just do real drugs. Yeah. You know? Are yeah, you sure you were smoking, smoking weed? Ah, uh, you guys are right. It might have been hell. <laughs> yeah. No, but so you break the bottom, and the bottom part was a bowl. Then you put a pen cap in the bottom, and then that was like a pipe. That is way harder than just rolling it in a piece of paper or an <laughs> apple. Dude, yeah, there's wait, so many. You grew up ways. in California. There's plenty of like head shops around. Like, yeah, yeah, very bizarre. I didn't question it. I was <laughs> in eighth grade on 420, smoking out of a light bulb. This guy was a lot older than you. He was younger. He was in seventh grade. Oh, wow. Yeah, this guy, Jesse. <laughs> seventh grade dude, weed, man. Dude, he, you're smoking do you, do you crack, think, Do you think brother. he was also winging it at the same time? He was like, no, we do this. And uh, like in his, he's trying to engineer it I as he's so. going. Because he I saw so. it like in an anti-crack commercial. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I saw it. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. Is that how they do it on What TV? else do you need? I, I need a pen cap. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think he was riffing because he had an older brother who he got the weed from. So I'm sure he was like, the brother was like, yeah, just find anything metal and use that. And then he was like, oh, a light bulb. Like. Very bizarre. Uh, heads up thinking, though. It's kind of impressive. Light bulb up top. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's a good gift for whoever you smoked with. That's a good sentimental gift to give. Oh, oh yeah. I haven't talked to you in a while. There, there she is. Uh -huh. for Christmas. Coming in hot. That is kind of cool. It's cute. Uh, but, yeah, I was an outside guy. I was always, like, riding bikes and skating. and then Skateboarding or skate rollerblading? I want you to take a guess and be honest. You were a blader. We got one blader. You look like a skateboarder to me, like, from high school. Like that's. How, no, I want to say blader. You so had the two skates? To one. Skateboard. Okay, two for two. Skateboard. Rollerblading, I go. can't. I can't do it. Wow. I'm not, I, like, I can't, I can't ice skate. I tried ice skating like two years ago in Canada. I had to use the little box thing. There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> Kids are flying past <laughs> me. It's like hard. Kids are flying past <laughs> The penguin, or whatever it is. Dude, I, it, I couldn't, my brain couldn't process moving forward and staying stabilized. You've seen me, man. It's, it's fucking tough. How good were you at your peak skateboarding? Like, did we I, almost go pro? Could we ollie? <laughs> could we kick flip? I was better at tech decking, let's be honest. <laughs> you were into tech deck, but were you into the, the medium size? Tech deck. I know what you're talking about. But it was no. hand tech deck. And you <laughs> you do it like they were like Pete. I thought that, I thought that was your with your feet, but you just had to be really good. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Like, you did. Yeah, I did. I thought. Wait, I know the ones he's talking deck. about. It's, it's yeah, smaller it's, than a penny board, but it's like this big, and you. I would. Oh, the bigger one. No, no, not those. Not no, those. it was. It the was. One, the, I thought you, the one you're talking about was like this big. Probably the size of a yes. Jersey, Jersey Mike sub. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I thought exactly people right. were still on it with their feet. They're just. That's really? Hands. That's hands. I've never seen. Dude, I've never coming to school with a chip too. Think what happened? I was tech decking it <laughs> up. Dude, they were sick. I just loved the bowl, and we would all get around and just have a little party. And we nobody was yeah. ever good at tech deck. It was not like there'd be one kid who would like get his own custom grip tape, and you're like, <laughs> all right, okay, you're not getting signed for this. But we'd always play with them in seventh grade, and we had this science teacher, and she'd snatch them off our desk when we weren't looking. She had a whole lunch bag of them. She'd like taunt <laughs> us with them. She would taunt us with them. She was an interesting lady. She was proud. Yeah. Did yeah. you guys do a Heelys phase at all? Anyone? Yes. I, I, could, oh. I actually couldn't ride those. Yeah, I couldn't. I, 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 I couldn't get used to it. I don't know what was like. What, I was obsessed with like Heelys. I, I have a pair of 
Heelys at home. Still? I yeah, I got Tommy Hilfiger Heelys. What the fuck? DM Heelys. They'll send you a pair, man. They're... Is it said, come out on stage, Matt? Do oh you have to go you ride it? Now. Do you have to like have one foot down and one foot up in order to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one foot, whatever your dominant foot forward. Yeah, yeah. You just like, and you gotta kind of like, <laughs> bro. I was. You gotta have a little bit of like a hustle, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. Hup, and then just hop in. You know when it. somebody's holding a door open for you, that type of run. You yes. Just yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, I'm coming. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> That's, it's fun. Did you have the ones with the soaps on the bottom where you could like grind on a curb? Oh, like, yes. You know what I'm talking about? Um, soaps are actually made from my hometown, Carrollton. That's where like soaps was like fuck? made. Soaps, was soaps. yeah. It, Carrollton, Texas? Yeah, Carrollton, Texas. Right by like Plano, North Dallas. Do you Dallas. flex that a lot or no? Uh, uh, I, you know what? I learned this when I was adult because I was looking up soaps and I'm like, where were their headquarters? And it was founded in Carrollton. Because when know, I was I a kid, everybody had these, but I didn't realize they were so actually from like our neighborhood. It was with no wheel, but in the middle it was plastic it so you grind. could- like grind on a curb, yeah. Dude, but guys, guys would like do it on like at the skate park, yeah, like crazy. Bro, that's They'd wild. be running and then just jump and grind. There's a guy on TikTok who wears like giant Jinko jeans <laughs> and then does like on the curb. Like if he, dude, he, he he listens to like a walk man. Like he, I don't use the word vibe a lot, but he's a he's a vibe. You know what I don't get either? People that were doing extreme sports with a walk man because you couldn't turn it, skip any sort of movement yeah. with the walk, like. People jogging with Walkmans, not possible. Yeah. yeah. But all the commercials showed them like walking with, you You have to hold it like a pizza box. And it didn't yeah. fit in, in order any for, pocket. Remember backpacks would have a like a slit in the back? Yeah. 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 Oh, that, like, your head yeah. Up. yeah. I did it once and I was like trying to change the song, like, <laughs> slapping my back. You got to get like the, you got to get like the wrist uh, belt or the, uh, the arm belt. Oh, the, oh yeah. The workout band. Yeah, that's, the, that's all I remember my mom had. I remember there was a hoodie that came out that had speakers in the hood. And I was like, yeah. Oh, is- no, no, no. no. That was- the one that was sick was the, the shoelace on the hood to like pull it tight. Yes. Those had an earbud at the really? end of it. Bro. And then the thing came out the bottom. You here. could just never wash yeah, that. Yeah, that was the thing. You couldn't <laughs> wash it. It's Randy. Like, fuck. <laughs> mom, Christmas better come early. Bro, that's I crazy. thought that was the craziest thing. Or like they would have them in your sleeve and people would put their arm, their hand people, next people to the People were ear. doing anything. Like we needed music that bad in class. <laughs> what you is did. That? What you really that? did. That, you had, to, that you had to wire it through your arm. My favorite <laughs> is the kid who's on a family vacation and he clearly hates his family and he's always got one ear pod in, the other one's dangling and he's just moping along with the family. He's like, hey, put the music down. In or yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. In what or out. What are we doing? Yeah, this year's family, this year's juice world. What is happening? <laughs> it is crazy that yeah, like they had like they had to do both at the same time. I don't, it just helps me work better. Yeah. You know, no judgment. <laughs> I can't because if I'm listening to something, I'm singing the lyrics in my head. And if I'm singing lyrics, yeah. I can't retain anything else. Would you? Oh, no, no, no. Would you keep going. Keep on. Keep on. That's my phone. It's That's my teeth. phone. You're... Oh. Do you really not know what your phone looks like? Oh. oh, really? Matt, be honest. Is your wallpaper to remind you? And I actually just did it today. What Smart. is it? I just have the Snapchat thing on there just to remind me. Because, like, sometimes I'll, like, go about and I'm but like, it, fuck, I didn't take any pictures. But it also matches your hat, so I don't know if it's, like, an aesthetic thing. What's my hat today? It's yellow. Snapchat hat. Oh, dick. Yeah, I didn't know if it was, like, a fit thing. No, 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 no. What do you guys put for your wallpaper? If you're a single man, what do you put? Because if you're in a relationship, it's know. probably the person you're dating. Well, sometimes I always used to have my wife, and then I would look down at her phone, and I'm not the wallpaper. Oh, so, like, how, how dare you do that to what us? What was her wallpaper? Um, I, I, don't, I think it's, like, Auburn football. Mine's uh, you, me, me and my boys in Yosemite at a lake. Both great photos, might I add. Like, Wait, both, you still got the charcuterie? Yeah. Both, like, HD photos. Love ya. Matt, what is yours? Oh, it's, it's what, was it before, uh, what was it before It that? was Ash from... Uh, Fantastic Mr. Fox. That was my Halloween costume. Oh. And I had that as my wallpaper. To show people? To people be like, what is it? I'd yeah, like, that is this, smart. Done. Yeah. And then before that, I think it was a picture of like Patricia and I. There's too much pressure with wallpaper. So much. Yeah. It's so what much. What is your wallpaper? It's uh, me and my parents. Just like a, It's actually from the day we filmed the, the special. It's just like the three of us. Just a good photo. How many like. siblings do you have? I have one sister. She didn't make the cut. Um, but, you know, come on now. Is yeah. she going to be there tonight? No, she's in New York. But she was at the, the taping. Okay. She, she was there. Is it going to be weird sitting in an audience watching yourself performing yeah, for the so people? Yeah, so I specifically was like, I don't want to do a viewing party, but I want to have it in the background. Like, it's like a cocktail oh, hour. Oh, cool. But it's just going to be up. Nice. That way, because I just, I am the most in my head. Like, even when I show my friends a sketch for notes, like I have two editors I work with, I'll like leave the room. I'll be like, what do you guys think? And then I leave because I want unbiased. Because if I'm in the room, I don't want like fake laughs. Like, yeah, 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 right, guys? And here's the thing. I think the special is hilarious. I've watched it thousands of times, and I still laugh at parts that I forget about. I think it's really funny. I just don't 
want to get it like in my head it's so perfect to my head i don't want to like think that it's not perfect because i looked over and then somebody at the premiere was like uh, oh, should I be laughing? Yeah. Yeah. So it's just going to be in the background of the ambiance. But just because I, I don't want to put like a gun, like it, watch it if you want to watch it, but I don't want to put a gun in people's head and be like, are you here or for the it's alcohol all- or for the jokes? <laughs> Why it's are you also at the weird like when you are recommending a movie and you have somebody watch a movie with you that they haven't seen. Yeah. And you're, you're watching them watch it and there's like that pressure, but the movie is of a, yourself. Yes. So it's like double Pressure. Yeah, I've just been at premieres before, and this sounds like a flex, and I don't mean it to be at all. I've been at premieres where I've been in a thing, and I get really anxious when my part is coming up mm-hmm. because I'm looking around like, did, you know, like it feels right. I don't know. That was me in Rock of Ages when I took everybody to go see it for my. <laughs> He's in Rock, Rock of Ages because you didn't, you didn't really? know how much you were going to. Yeah, be in the I, we had no That's idea. Also true when you like watch it back. How much were you in it? Maybe 10 seconds. Good but time. it was like, but it was like, did you have the camera just uh, on you or was it like more it of was, a... It was like me and the main guy. I was his like roadie for his band in yeah. the movie. So I'm up here. I'm like pointing at shit. Like over here. Like doing ah, this. It's so cool. So there was like a couple cool. little like cuts of it that... Uh, he, did you get, did you get a, a, a one, of the, one of these? Hey, hey buddy, can we like calm down on the... <laughs> Cut. Yeah, like, right. how, Easy how, with the pointing. <laughs> Tom Cruise is like looking back at you like. <laughs> I don't like I'm that working. millennials are getting shit talk now. We're getting oh, I know. It. roasted. Rolled right into it. I'm like, no, no, no. Guys. It was like, coming. Oh, dude, I saw this TikTok where this kid was singing. And he's like, he's like a high school and he's like making up back. He's like, I wish I was born back in the day. And he goes, I wish I could take it back to 1999. And I'm like, that's. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, like that's as far back as you want to go. That, no, but, but like that's a year that you can be like, dude, back in the day. Whoa. Like crazy. Na- 90s are getting got. I'm yeah. Like, guys. Yeah. Or like the millennials recording how they take like five seconds before they start talking. Mm-hmm. That's where they're getting shit on. Or, or like the zoom in at like yes. uh, 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 heightened moments when you're yes. doing a video. Oh, yeah. You're not going to be so like, I met this. this. Yeah. God, snarky dude, Mark, like, how yeah. he's been doing those. Yeah. I've been so like, they careful. miss their transitions. Like they'll just like <laughs> jump and then go up. No, they got us good with the transition. They're like, so today I'm eating at this restaurant. I'm hungies. God. <laughs> oh, but the problem is hurts. like we know all those people. And I don't really think as many people make stuff like that as much now. But like. I think there's just weird people in any generation. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I just don't like how millennials are like the easy target now. Yeah. I was like, let's make fun of boomers. Yeah. Those life alert idiots. <laughs> yeah, we weren't, we weren't done with them. But I honestly wouldn't want to be in any other like generation. I think like yeah. I still feel like we are in the best yeah, it's great. We we're like delusional. We think we can fix anything well, with like electrolytes and we're yeah. like, we're fucking powerful. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's good though, because we got the no technology into technology. Yeah. It's a, it's, it's great because we got to live both worlds. Cause mm-hmm. I lived outside. I was the outside kid. Then you get, the, I, wait, wait, how old were you guys when you got cell phones, by the way? Or what I was grade? a senior. Seventh grade. Senior, senior in high school. Yeah, senior I was school. 17. Yeah. I got mine in sixth grade. Wow. Just, wow. You got it early. Yeah. You, your parents, your parents loved you. Yeah. They didn't trust me. They, they They're like, I didn't know where those motherfuckers at. <laughs> yeah, they were just trying to track you. I got, yeah. I got like the AT and T singular phone. Yeah, in senior year. Ooh, like it was like that late. I was like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that shit? AT and T singular. Si- yeah, AT and T used too... to be called singular before. Oh, Oh, it was like oh, the little a, orange man yeah, yeah, yeah. with, the, yeah. with the, the balls on the hands. <laughs> yeah, half the time my mom would just give me her phone just so I could like call home if I needed to let her know. Yeah, yeah. that happened before I got the phone. Did you get walkie talkies though? Like if you were outside Motorola. and you were out on your bikes, like we had walkie no. talkies. When we'd go camping, we'd get them. You could hijack other people's channels. Yeah, yeah. that was the best camping. You'd like go to a different channel. And be, yeah, Martha, come home. I'm like, Martha's a bitch. And she's like, <laughs> Who is that? Yeah, walkie man. talkies are sick though. Still to this day, they're really cool. Yeah. How? But, what's the radius on those bad boys? I mean, it depends. I just like a couple miles. Oh, that's pretty good. It's crazy. You're tapping into a frequency. Yeah. Like people like think about how crazy that is. There's just waves going all around your head right now, mm-hmm. and you just dial it the into five G, brother. You dial it into a specific like frequency, and yeah. it'll carry it, and somebody else can t- like <laughs> dial into that, and then it'll pick it up. It's like, you know what blows my mind is airdrop. How the fuck does that work? Dude, no. and then don't when get it me doesn't started. work, I'm like, give me a gun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, project failed? How? <laughs> what do you mean? But like the fact that you can just be like, hey, this video, there, just have it. It's on your phone now. Where does it? Like in my head, it's just like a little lob. Yeah. Like a little beer pop. I love so that. Why is airdrop I, so much faster than a text or anything else? So air, yeah. Why is airdrop just it keeps so quick? Yes. It blows my mind. I love the vibration that when an airdrop like hits. It's yeah. like. 
That's yeah, it, it can't be. You know, uh, it, like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like when you do uh, Apple Pay, it's like, uh, yeah. ka-ching. Like, I don't care if you have good. an Android. The texting doesn't bother me. It's the airdrop that pisses me off. Yeah, like, like, if I'm oh. working with an editor, I'm like, can you airdrop me? He's like, uh, well, actually, I... Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> can I send it through Venmo? I don't do <laughs> That's good. Technology, dude. From tech decks to technology. If you found out that everything we're living is a simulation, what would be something that you would look back and be like, oh my God, it was so obvious. Oh, you would calculators. Like Bluetooth. How do yeah. calculators know everything? You yes. can be like 97 divided by 4,400. Like how did like, we ding, fall ding, for ding, that, that? That was something that we could possibly have. Is any of it right? It's insane. I mean, it is, but like... <laughs> Y'all like hurt, air conditioning, air conditioning is a good one. You, think? you mean to tell me there's something that I could set to make the temperature exactly what I oh, want it yeah. to be? Like it, I feel like that's pretty think, logical. No, but like think about no? it. Like, there's something on the outside of your house right now, and I'm just gonna go push 67 degrees, <laughs> and now my house is like. Obviously, we look at it because, like, yeah, no, it makes sense. But if somebody was like. You really think about it? It's I, I'm like wild. that with planes too. When I see like a plane planes take off, crazy. I'm like, excuse me, sure. like let me get a good look at that. And it's just this massive hunk of metal just using jet fuel to propel itself through the sky and go across the world. Like every time, how are we not falling? This yeah. heavy piece of fucking machinery that we're how are also we cruises flying? cruises are pretty. You ever seen a cruise on the water? How the fuck that <laughs> don't sink? And they're just like a bit because there's air in the hole. Like it, it's buoyant. And you're like, what do you but mean? it still I'm weighs a billion pounds. <laughs> there, there's like whole cities. I don't know if you've seen like a modern day cruise. There's a mall in it and there's like roller coasters on top. Water slides. Dude, they literally have like this Superman ride. And I'm like, <laughs> just go to Six Flags. There's so much shit on the boat. You forget you're on a boat. You don't need that many activities. I would take so much Molly on that thing. But <laughs> the thing there's too much on there. There's like no laws on that. Like it's just... Let there be specific things. Put boat stuff on there. Do a whole fishing deck. I don't know where you fish. I don't like you know. Just like think of there things be a you do on water. Game on that bitch. I mean, you can do anything on there. You know what I want to see on a cruise ship? Like a whole wipeout. Like a um, uh, like a wipeout. Like obstacle like a tournament. course. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah like an yeah. obstacle yeah. course. Like a, like a, a overwater obstacle yeah. course. I don't know if you've seen the type speed going cruises. Yeah, I know. It, the, what is it, Matt? Oh, uh, cruises are for the newly wed, the nearly dead, and the overly fed. There you go. Where, that's where did you hear that? Uh, out of a book, I think. Yeah. <laughs> um, you got to get rolling to your thing. I do got to get going uh, pretty soon. You got to go to your release party, guys. Thank you so much for having me. Of course, yeah, thank you. Man. Also funny. I've been wanting to do the show for a while, so thank you for having me. Thank yeah, you for letting absolutely. me put on special. Thank you, man. And see you guys at Congrats the uh, next again. pickleball event. Much love, man. All right, much yeah. love. Right. Thank you, man. Thank you. Love you guys again. Make sure to check out Trevor Wallace's new special on Amazon Prime. Pterodactyl um, comes out November 14th, which is right now. Um, make sure to go, yeah, go watch it. Make sure to check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. We do early access to all these episodes. You get a few days early and it's all going to be ad free. We also do a bonus episode every single month. We do a live Q and a every single month. Um, and four mini episodes every month. And we keep these episodes rolling for another like 20, 30 minutes, however long and just hang out. And it's like an extended version. So you get uh, one of those every single episode as well. Yeah. Um, and all for $5 a month and you get everything right. in the archive. Um, you can check out these episodes every Monday audio form on your favorite podcast apps. And on Tuesdays, we post a video form of these episodes on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Zane and Heath. All right, guys. We'll see you next week. We love you. Ta-ta. We love you. Peace. Peace.